Hi there, for my next review we're going to look at one of the games I picked up earlier this year, so one of my more recent purchases. Um, it was originally released by Lucasfilm Games and then re-released on the Ricochet branding and it is Ball Blazer. The front cover for this Ricochet release is a little bit unusual because this definitely isn't a derivative of the front cover of the original Lucasfilm Games release. Uh, the logo is different and the picture is different. Possibly it came from something like the instruction manual or an advert or something like that, but it's definitely not the same as the original. So there you go, otherwise it's a normal ricochet packaging. It's fine as usual. And we've got some screenshots on the back, as you can see, they are from the Commodore 64 version. And it's a kind of 3D checkerboard effect with a yellow blob on at the moment. That's all we can make out from it. And there's a blurb. The simplest, fastest, most competitive sport in the universe. Blah, 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 blah. It's very little text on this one, but it's a mega game. There's nothing quite like Ball Blazer, said your Sinclair. And the minuscule text continues inside the packaging. You are strapped into a rotofoil, as is your opponent. The screen is split so you can both see each other's craft. So basically you've got the... Uh, Introduction to the game, the controls, lots of controls there, lots of keyboard controls, most of which refer to the um, menu before you start a game. It's got a little bit about gameplay and the loading instructions. Copyright there at the bottom, Lucasfilm Limited 1986, and authorised by Activision as well, and licensed to Mastertronic, all stuff that I already knew, and probably you did too. And inside, it's basically blank apart from the ricochet branding. So this is the screen you're presented with when the game loads. Pretty straightforward stuff, it's got the Ball Blazer logo in the middle there. And various bits of information displayed on the screen, including the copyright from Lucasfilm Games as you can see there. So there's a few options from the title screen before you start the game. Press F3 to cycle through them. So you've got the option of choosing a human or droid player for each side. The purple player plays at the top and the brown, if that's the right colour, brown player plays at the bottom of the screen as you can see there. Uh, so we'll stick with human there. You can choose the time limit for the game. So we'll go with a four minute time limit. And you can choose the second player as well. Uh, the numbers are the sort of skill levels. So we'll stick with uh, level one to make it nice and easy for myself. Or relatively easy, hopefully. Uh, and that's it. And then you press F7 to start the game. And as you can see, you piloting a, a small craft uh, around a rather chessboard style grid uh, and the idea is that you've got to get the ball which you can see there I've got, been scored against already get the ball off the opponent and score in their goal so it's basically a sort of robot football kind of game uh, so I've got the ball at the moment sometimes it's quite straightforward there you go scored there that was me scoring very fast paced sort of game. Sometimes you find it's quite useful to look at the opposition screen below um, to see what's going on because you're always done from your own point of view so it's quite difficult to spot what's going on sometimes. But it's quite a, ha a high paced sort of game. He scored against me again there. I think you get one point if you score right from point blank range and two points if you uh, if you score from a bit further out and um, once you've got the ball where is he once you've got the ball he scored against me again this is a disaster so far once you've got the ball you automatically point towards the goal and um, when you haven't got the ball you automatically point towards the the player that has got the ball or the opponent that has got the ball so I've got the ball, I just need to find the goal now, can't find it, I'm going to lose it now. There we go, so I scored again right from point blank range, that's given me one point. The points are showing there, 
uh, and also you can see the time limit ticking down in the middle. Um, there's not much else to say about the game, it's pretty simple. It's one of those games that I suspect is much more fun as a two player type game. Uh, rather than playing against the computer because the computer probably kicks your ass on most occasions. Come on, where's the skull? There we go. Oh, missed. When the opponent, or when you take the ball off the opposition player, um, it, the ball just could, could go basically anywhere on the screen. I've lost the goals now. There we are. So I'm actually, oh, not quite in the lead now. It's pretty close though. Still got two minutes to play. Uh, so it's quite a, a technical achievement, that's for sure because uh, it's very fast moving obviously the graphics are pretty basic sort of vectorized line drawing type things similar to the kind of thing that uh, Lucasfilm did with Rescue on Fractalus and things like that it's a very fast paced game um, and it's kind of fun um, it's not brilliant it's a bit one dimensional and as I said it's probably much more fun if you were he's going to score against me again yeah, I'm in trouble here Notice the goals are actually getting smaller as well. Um, the more I've spoken, the worse I've got at this game, and I was actually doing quite well at one point where I might be competing, but it's going to be quite tricky now. Where are those goals? Oh, I've missed again. Disaster. Sounds a bit basic in the game, although the tune's quite nice that it plays. Oh, no. It does get harder as the game progresses because the goal the distance between the posts gets smaller. And uh, it does take a bit of getting used to controls wise as well. Um, but once you get used to it, it's quite, uh, quite fun to play. This will be a relatively short review because there's not much else to say about the game. Oh no! Disaster. That period in the middle of the game where I let him get two or three goals in a row has really screwed me up. And I've now only got 15 seconds to go. It's a very large playing area as well. And it's all over and I lost. You can see me spinning around there. Uh, and the uh, logo now shows up in the core of the player that last won. Uh, and that's about it really. As I say, there's not much more to say about the game. You've seen all you're going to see in the one uh, demonstration, apart from me winning, which probably wouldn't happen if I did it again. Although I have played it in the past and won against the lowest level droid. Uh, so yeah, one of those games where it's probably much more fun as a two-player competitive game with someone sitting next to you. But all the same, it's a nicely put together game, very clever for the era. 1985 that it was originally released uh, and for 199 I don't think you could ask for much more If you only knew the power of the dark side 2 1 0